a rockin' celebration for rock and roll legend Ronnie Hawkins. The Hawk turned 80 this year, and fans flocked to the Zoomerplex here in Toronto to join in on the festivities and to honor the man who had such a huge influence on rock and roll in Canada. Happy birthday, Ronnie. All the best. What can I say? He's alive, healthy, and I love his sense of humor. And he keeps on ticking. And uh, he's a, a Canadian icon. Oh, he was so much a part of our um, misguided youth, as you want to say. Great times, great memories. Forming our love of music and dance and wonderful expression of love. Um, thank you. Thanks for all the great songs. And uh, this is our kind of music. That's a great tribute to him. Ronnie's the best, okay? God bless him, and just thanks for the memories. There wasn't a lot of Toronto music, and what Toronto music there was was nothing close to rock and roll. So Ronnie coming up from the States put Toronto on the map. He developed a Toronto musical culture in the 60s that grew and lives on to this day. Now, fans weren't the only people in attendance. Fellow musicians Gordon Lightfoot, Bobby Curtola, and Amy Skye showed their support and admiration for their friend. I love Ronnie. You know, he is everything you've ever heard. He's done it all. And his kindness, he never talks about. But for all, for all of us in the industry, he, he always helped every musician that ever came around him. He was always good to everybody, and his fans adore him. And I love him for the parties. I got to go to a few. Oh, mamma mia. <laughs> the best. 80 years young, one thing is for sure, Ronnie Hawkins will continue to rock and roll. I've actually been doing the moonwalk since I was 12 years old. I'm Emily Pratt for the Rebel Media.